Namaste. Welcome to the lecture series on the subject basic thermodynamics. This is module 5, part 2, real gases. Lecture number 13, myself Dr. Yan Satish Kumar, Associate Professor of Mechanical Engineering, Kenara Engineering College, Bantwal. So in this lecture, we will solve few numericals on real gases. So let us take this problem. A rigid vessel of volume 0.3 meter cube contains 10 kg of air at 300 degree Kelvin. Using the perfect gas equation, the Van der Waals equation of state and C generalized compressibility chart, determine the pressure which would be exerted by the air on the vessel. Okay, so these are the common kind of problems which are being asked from this chapter in the VTU exams. So here you are given the volume, mass and the temperature and using three different uh, methods so you have to find out the pressure exerted by the air on the vessel. So let us come to the first one. So the perfect gas equation as all of you know is PV is equal to RT. So P is equal to RT by V or R bar by uh, R bar T by M V. Okay, Because R is nothing but R bar by M. So R bar is a universal gas constant. So your specific volume of the gas is nothing but volume by mass. So volume is 0 0.3 divided by mass is 10. So it is 0 0.03 meter cube per kg. And P is equal to, if you substitute, you will get it as uh, 28.67 bar. So here, uh, this 10 to the power 5 in the denominator is used to convert the pressure into bar. Otherwise, you will get it in uh, Pascal. So in Pascal divided by 10 to the power 5, you will get it in bar. So all of you can check the answer. So 29 is the molecular weight of the uh, air. Okay, so it is approximately taken as 29 and this is the temperature and this is the characteristic gas constant. Okay. And using Van der Waals equation, so you have the equation P plus A by V bar square into V bar minus B is equal to R bar into T. So A you would find out using the formula 27 by 64 R bar square T C square by P C. So here uh, Tc value and Pc value, you would get it from the uh, critical point data of gases. So that table is available. So table C6 uh, in your thermodynamic data and book by Nijaguna and Samaga. So for air, you can see here uh, Tcr, critical parameters, Pcr okay, and rho Cr. So we want Pcr, so minus 140.65. So if you add plus 273.15, so you'll get it as 132.8 Kelvin and this is 37.77 bar. So this is how you would read the or you would get the critical temperature and critical pressure from the critical parameter table C6 from your thermodynamic data and book by uh, B.S. Samaga and the Nijaguna. Okay. Now once you find out that you substitute for uh, A. Uh, in the equation and you will find out E as 1.364 bar meter cube per kg mole square and similarly you can find out B as 0 0.0366 meter cube per kg mole. Okay? So B is R bar Tc by 8 Pc. Now substituting the constants A and B in the Van der Waals equation of state, so we get uh, this is the substitution and once you simplify, so you will get the P as 28.13 bar. So now this answer will be very close to the previous answer which we found out using the equation P V is equal to R T. So this is one of the advantages. So if you one of the solutions if you do correctly, so you can know, you know that other two pressure valves also should come very close to this value. So that is how you can check your answer also. Now there is one more way instead of uh, calculating A and B from the uh, using the formula you can get it A and B directly from the thermodynamic data and book that is from table C8. So here I have shown the sample of this uh, that part of this table. So for air A is equal to 135.8 uh, 
and b is equal to 0 0.00365. So these two values also directly you can take it from the table instead of calculating using the formula for a and b. So there is another option available for you. Now coming to the third uh, that is using generalized compressibility chart. So first you have to find out pseudo reduced volume using this formula vr dash is equal to v bar pc by r bar tc. So which you will get it as 2.97. Now reduced temperature TR is equal to T by TC, so that you will get as 2.26. Uh, your critical temperature is from the critical table as we uh, noted it earlier. Now VR dash is 2.97 and TR is 2.26. Now from the compressibility chart you have to find out the value of uh, PR. So this uh, chart is very small so I can't zoom it and show you. So here is the intersection point. Okay, of uh, VR dash is equal to 2.97 and TR is equal to 2.26. So here these lines are the TR lines. You see these lines one like this, and uh, this VR dash lines are these lines. You can see here. You see these lines. So I think you can uh, view it better. So this is the intersection of those two uh, lines here. Those two conditions here inside this. So that at that point I found PR as 0.75. Right, and uh, since you know the P value of PC as 37.7 bar, so P is nothing but pressure exerted by the air on the cylinder or the container. P is nothing but PR into PC, so 0.75 into 37.7, so 28.27 bar. Once again, you can see that it is 28. Point something. So this is uh, uh, that's what I told. The pressure answers will be very close to each other. So very close, uh, easily you can cross verify your answers. Now the pressure can also be calculated by reading the value of compressibility factor. Okay, that also you can do from the chart. So V dash R is 2.97, TR is 2.26. Using these two, or TR is 2.26, PR is 0.75. So you can find out the compressibility chart from the compressibility chart Z value. So Z is 0.98. Okay, all of you read that value. So here is this is the value of Z here. So Z is 0.98. So P is equal to ZRT by V, actually it is PV is equal to ZRT equation. So from this you can find out once again you see the P value is very close to 28, or 28 bar or 28.32 bar to be precise. So there are uh, main two ways by which you can use this compressibility chart. Either you can find out uh, PR, then you can multiply it by PC to find out the pressure P or else you can find out the value of uh, Z, then you can use the equation PV is equal to ZRT. Okay. Now let us solve this problem. If the values of the for the reduced pressure and compressibility factor for ethylene are 5 bar and 1.04 respectively, compute the temperature. So reduced pressure PR is given, compressibility factor Z is given. Okay, Z is 1.04. So you have to compute the temperature. So now from the compressed generalized compressibility chart. So not I am not using the chart again. So you can use that. Uh, okay, uh, what we are using is uh, compiled by BT Nijogana and BS Samaga. So PR is 5, Z is 1.04. So you can find out TR is equal to 2.7. So this is how you have to read from the uh, table uh, chart in, in fact directly. Okay, that is the generalized compressibility chart. I hope all of you can check it and you can find out, you can know, you know that TR is equal to T by TC or T is equal to TR into TC. So you will get it as 762.48 Kelvin. So for ethylene TC you can get it from the uh, table of critical parameters, right? That is table C6 as we did in the previous problem. Now let us solve this problem. Using the compressibility chart calculate density of nitrogen at 260 bar and 15 degrees Celsius. What would be the temperature of 1.4 kg of CO2 gas in a container? at a pressure of 200 bar to behave as an ideal gas. Okay. Uh, using compressibility chart, you have to calculate density of N2 at 260 bar and 15 degrees Celsius. Then second question, what would be the temperature of 1.4 kg of CO2 gas in a container at a pressure of 200 bar to behave as an ideal gas? Okay, let us solve this problem. So now for first, let us solve the equation A. So from uh, for nitrogen from table C6, uh, you can find out the critical temperature as 125.9 degree Kelvin and PC as 33.94 bar. So here one thing uh, important thing you have to note that 
the critical temperature in the table C6 available uh, will be negative temperature. So you have to and it will be in degree Celsius. So you have to add 273 to get it in uh, Kelvin. Okay. Now once you find out critical temperature and critical pressure. Uh, that is P, TC and PC. So you can find a reduced pressure and reduced temperature using the formulas. PR is equal to P by PC. So P is given 260 bar. So you can find out reduced pressure as 7.66 and reduced temperature as uh, T by TC. T is going to 15 degrees Celsius, which is 288 Kelvin. So divided by 125.9, that is TC. So you get it as 2.29. Now from chart 7, that is generalized compressibility chart. So for PR is equal to 7.66 and TR is equal to 2.29, so Z value you will get it as 1.08. So Z value you will get it as 1.08. Okay. Now Z is equal to PV by RT, but here uh, here this V in the numerator specific volume can also be written as 1 by rho. So it becomes P by rho RT or rho is equal to P by Z RT. So if you substitute, so here R is uh, 296.9 joules per kg per Kelvin from the table C6. So, you will get density as 281.954 kg per meter cube. Now, coming to the second part B, so carbon dioxide gas table C6, TC is 304, P73.85 bar. So, the gas behaves like an ideal gas. So, as all of you know, for ideal gas Z should be equal to 1. So, here reduced pressure is nothing but PR is P by PC is 2.71 and from compressibility chart for Z is equal to 1 and PR is 2.71 you will get TR as 2.46. So, this is how you have to make use of the compressibility chart. So, once you find out TR, T is equal to TC into TR, so you will get as 747.84 degree Kelvin. Okay. So, this is how you have to find out the uh, temperature of the CO2 gas. Now let us solve one more problem in this lecture. Find the pressure exerted by methane in a container of capacity 2 meter cube when it contains 3 kg at 300 Kelvin using ideal gas equation B van der Waals equation. So molecular weight of methane is 16, CH4, C is uh, 12, H is 4 into 4, uh, sorry H is 1 into 4, 4, so 12 plus 4 is 16. Now molar volume V bar is V by number of mole, that is specific volume by number of mole. Number of mole is nothing but mass by molecular weight. So molecular weight is 16, mass is 3 kg. So 16 so goes to numerator, volume is 2 meter cube, right? So you will get it as 10.67 meter cube per kg mole. This is molar volume V bar. Characteristic gas constant R is equal to R bar by M. So 8.3143 divided by 16. So it is point 5196 kilojoules per kg per Kelvin. Okay, and using ideal gas equation, PV is equal to MRT since mass is given. So you have to consider mass also. Otherwise, PV is equal to RT. So you'll get PV P as 2.34 bar. Okay, so here this 10 to the power 5 uh, P is equal to MRT by V. So this 10 to the power 5 is used to convert pressure into bar. And this is kilojoules, so that should be converted into joules by multiplying 10 to the power 3. Okay, so that is very very important. So substitution here formula, not only the formula, you have to check into the units in which you are going to substitute the values. If you are not taking enough care about the units, so your formula may be correct, substitution may be correct, but substitution in wrong way. That means in appropriate uh, units. So that will lead to wrong answers. So always substitute in appropriate units. Because formula is not important, substitution is very very important here. So then we have uh, Van der Waals equation of state in which the pressure P is equal to R bar T divided by V bar minus B minus A by V square. So from table C8, you can directly get value of A as 228.6 and B as 0.0427, and back for proper substitution, so you'll get the answer as 2.32 bar. Okay, so with this I conclude uh, this lecture number 13 uh, and I will solve a few more problems in the next lecture. Thank you.